Today we're going to be talking about how to find the center of mass of the system. And we've been given three point masses, m sub 1, sub 2, and sub 3, at specific coordinate points. So what this means is that mass 1 has a mass of 4, and it's located at the specific coordinate point 2, negative 3. We have two other masses at two other points, and we've been asked to find the center of mass of this system. Now, in order to find the center of mass, you first need to find moments of the system m sub y and m sub x. And I've done this in a previous video, but to give a brief recap, in order to find moments of the system, you multiply each mass for m sub y, you multiply each mass by that mass's distance away from the y-axis. So you can imagine the coordinate point here, 2, negative 3, that's two units away from the y-axis, that's the x value in this coordinate point. So essentially to find m sub y, we're multiplying each mass by the x value in the coordinate point. So we have 4 times 2 plus 2 times negative 3 plus 4 times 3. We're taking the sum of those, and when we simplify we get 14. So that's a moment, m sub y, of 14. And then to find m sub x, we're multiplying each mass by the distance of that mass away from the x-axis. And that, of course, is the y value in the coordinate point. So we multiply each mass by the y value, we take the sum of the three of those, and we get the moment here of 10. Now once you've found the moments of the system, to find the x value in the coordinate point of the center of mass of the system, we're going to take m sub y and we're going to divide it by total mass. So we already know m sub y is 14. Total mass, m, is the sum of our three masses. So when we add our three masses together, 4 plus 2 plus 4, we get 10. So 10 is the total mass of the system. So we're just going to take 14, m sub y, and we're going to divide it by total mass, which is 10, and that's going to simplify to 7.5, which is the same thing as 1.4, so 1.4. Now to find the y value for the coordinate point for the center of mass, we're going to take m sub x, the moment we found before, and divide that by total mass. So our moment here, m sub x, is 10, and we're going to divide that by the total mass, which we've already found is 10, so it's going to be the same as dividing by the total mass up here. In this case, that's equal to 1. And once we've found these two values, it's real easy. We're going to combine these two into a coordinate point, which is the center of mass. So center of mass, we'll just abbreviate here, is going to be equal to the x coordinate, the x value, which is 7 fifths, and then the y value, which is 1. So we can either call the center of mass 7 fifths 1, or sometimes we like to see it in decimal form, it would be 1.4 1. Either way, either one describes the center of mass of this system given these point masses at coordinate points. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.